Hey, good morning, everyone. I think most of you know me. My name is Nora Millett. I am our um, vice president of uh, the Congregation Council here. Um, I love coming up here, um, but I have some sobering news that is not like my favorite thing to talk about. Um, Pastor Jason kind of set it up well in saying like, it is fortuitous that I have never had to have, the, have, to, had to have this conversation before. Um, but there's some realities that for the sake of transparency, we care very much about being transparent about where all of your money is going and why and how. And so for the sake of transparency, we want to be really clear around some of the realities that exist with the budget for 2023. So a couple of weeks ago, my um, fellow co council folks came up here and talked about the goals that we had for 2023, our giving campaign, things of that nature. The way that that works is we get commitments, if you will, or expected giving from all of you, and then we take that number, we kind of mess with it a little bit the best that we can, and then we start with a top line budget that allows us to kind of A, keep the congregation going, and then B, do everything from a goal perspective that we want to do. So generally that conversation is fabulous. We maybe have to tweak a few things, but we get to a balanced budget and we're super happy about where we're headed in the next year. Unfortunately, this year, mostly due to wonderful inflation that impacts all of us, um, our expected giving came in significantly below where it has in the past. And that basically says, hey, not only are we not going to get a 14% increase in our budget that allows us to reach some of those goals, it means we are going to have to make significant cuts that are difficult for us as a congregation and as a council to have to make. Um, we're doing everything we can to get there, but we, like I said, we wanted to be transparent about some of the things that are likely going to be impacted. It's all written on this piece of paper so you can see it, but some of them include things like freezing salaries, which is not something that we really want to have to do, um, reducing our mission support. So as many of you know, we had a goal to reach 10% of our giving or our total budget to go directly back to our mission um, partners. We actually got there last year where 10% went back um, to our uh, across the community, across the world. Um, we will have to likely reduce that this year in order to kind of handle that which is just our operating. Um, we have a lovely pastoral resident right now, Vicar Vicky. She will certainly not be impacted, but we have the consideration of moving away from being a, con a teaching congregation in the next year, um, just due to the, the funding. We are looking at potentially eliminating a nursery attendant. I know there isn't one right now, but she, you know, um, he or she is in the works, and um, we have to potentially reconsider things like that. And then just a cut back to programs and ministries, and et cetera, et cetera. So, all that to say, we're, this is not like, hey, get out your pocketbook right now, you have to do this, or we're gonna you know, not have church tomorrow. That's not where we're at. It's mostly to say, here's a reality, we know where we're at. If this does compel you, if something in here compels you to either make an additional, you know, a one-time donation or increase your weekly giving, you can let us know. There's information here. You're also gonna get almost this exact same thing via email that says, hey, if you feel good about this, click this link, let us know. Um, we will continue to thrive. There's no question about it. We will make the tough decisions that we need to. Um, but like I said, we wanted to make you all well aware of it. And then also if it does compel you to, to kind of make a decision to, to give us a little bit more, we appreciate it. Any questions, please let me know. There's a couple other council people that are here today. Um, certainly Pastor Jason or Vicar Vicky, um, let us know. Okay, thank you.